Hey guys, welcome back to another Transformers video, not a Transformers Age of Extinction update. Uh, this is, like I said in the previous video, this is just a video where we're going to be looking at um, the up and coming stuff uh, that Hasbro revealed and released images of at uh, Toy Fair. And, you know, the up and coming generations line um, is probably going to be the main focus on this. So, uh, and a few construct bots. I'm not a big fan of them, but I'll show them off anyway. So, um, first we have. Um, What's, what what is the class of this? Is it legions or or legends or something? Um, we have acid storm, and it's a straight up repaint of Starscream, as nearly every single seeker in existence is. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he looks all right. Um, nice colours. Uh, he comes with his little bug companion thing again, as Starscream did. Um, you know, it looks a very nice mold, but I won't be getting it. Uh, plain mode looks really cool as well. Um, so. Yeah, he looks really nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, we have Gears now. Um, and Gears looks really cool, actually. Um, really liking that. Um, he's uh, He's got not a nice bit of detail on him for such a small figure as well. You know, the head looks really cool. Um, and he comes with his, uh, uh, you know, companion weapon thing um, that can transform. Um so uh and it, you know his vehicle mode looks the weakest out of the two but still looks all right like I said, this is a really small figure so to probably pick up on something like that's probably really unfair so yeah really looked cool uh but probably won't pick it I, i've never really been a big fan of picking up the smaller figures so uh and there's um yeah so uh moving on to the next one now this was quite a surprising reveal we have um voyager skybite I think um, I think it's a Voyager. Might be a deluxe. I'm not 100 percent sure, um, but I, no, I, I'm pretty certain this is a Voyager. And uh, yeah, he looks actually really cool. I watched R.A.D. Um, I think that's what it was from anyway, wasn't he? Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I was I. It was all right. R.A.D. was I. I was never. I don't think it compares to on the levels of what Transformers Prime was, for example. But um, you know, it was all right, and Skybite was pretty cool. It's pretty weird to have a shark, you know, roaming about. So, um, but the shark mode on this looks badass. You know, really looks really looks cool. So, might actually consider picking this guy up. Um, so, you know, he he does look really cool, and you know, like his robot mode looks really nice. Actually, really really cool. I don't think a lot of people expected this either. So, it's a, it was a really cool reveal by Hasbro. Um, probably will have a lot of kibble, but um, overall it looks it looks really nice. Um, nice one for the fans, I think. Uh, like I said in the in one of my updates, Hasbro is targeting the the old fans, the collectors, all of them with the generations line. So this is going to be for the older fans like me and you, and you know people, you know older fans and stuff uh, who grew up with it. Uh, you know, not fans who are just growing up with it right now this is going to be the line for us because um you know they're going to be normal transformations that we expect more detailed figures and stuff so um so yeah so there's skybite um now going on to roadbuster now roadbuster looks really cool i actually really would like to pick this one up um roadbuster uh it just looks really cool um really nice colors how roadbuster should be um you know, he's armed to the teeth with weapons as well, which is really nice to see. And, uh, yeah, just overall really decent figure. Uh, really liking it. Uh, going on to his, ro uh, his uh, vehicle mode. Once again, armed to the teeth with uh, with um, weapons everywhere. <laughs> and uh, you know, this is Robuster. This is, this is going to be Generations Robuster. So, and it's going to be a Voyager as well, so it's going to be a pretty big figure. So, um, yeah, really cool, and uh, probably definitely picking this one up. He looks really nice. Um, so, now on to... Now, this is a deluxe. I'm not really actually sure how to pronounce the name. Is it... I'm going to say how I think it is, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Jaxus. Is that... Uh, it's spelled J-H-I-A-X-U-S. So, I'm going to say that's Jaxus or Jaxus. Is it... Um, I'm just going to call him Jaxus, uh, but I probably am wrong. Um, he looks very interesting. Um, I don't actually know too much about this character, so um, 
so but he looks very very seekerish you know he looks like a seeker so you know he's got the wings he's got the the bits on the side by his heads and stuff and and whatnot so he's very interesting looks like a very simplified transformation actually um so uh and you know his his uh, vehicle mode looks quite a lot like um armada starscream so um so i don't know if it might be a repaint of that actually uh, with a few changes uh, to the body or not but his uh but yeah his uh vehicle mode really does look like it so um but no i'm pretty certain it's a completely new figure so um but please correct me if i'm wrong and it, like i said it's a deluxe as well so um but he's a Decepticon as well, so he could very well be a Seeker. But I honestly don't know too much about it. So, um, so yeah, so there's Jaxus. Um, next, we have Wind Windblade. And um, this uh, with, this was a fan-created um, robot. Uh, you know, Hasbro and Transformers and everything. Doing loads of polls a while ago, actually, um, for fans to create their, their own thing. So if fans voted that... Windblade, well, they even voted on the name, and Windblade was created, and then, um, you know, they voted on stuff like, oh, uh, you know, he or she should have, um, you know, thin legs and stuff, so, you know, that's uh, how it is and stuff, so, um, this is definitely a, um, a fan-created um, design, uh, if you will, so, um, and you know it looks all right. I'm not too big a fan of it. The sword looks cool. Um, I'm not too big a fan of the robot mode though. Um, but you know, like I said, fans have created it. So if you had a say in it, you probably want to pick it up. But I mean, I had a say in it. I voted on something. And I still didn't really like what turned out. So, um, but you know, it looks all right. Um, going on to the vehicle mode though. Now this actually looks really cool. This is probably if I did pick this up, this would probably be the one that I'd choose to have it in because. I really like this design. It's it's a really nice uh, vehicle mode. Very um, like I said, well, seekerish really. It looks um, could easily be a seeker, um, but uh, it looks very cool. Um, but not really one for me, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I, I still think it will sell pretty well, probably. Um, next we have uh, Generations Deluxe Night Beat, and he's an Autobot and these are characters that i honestly don't know too much about but uh he looks really cool actually he looks um very sporty you know he's got the flames he's got he's got optimus prime's flames on him uh <laughs> and um you know he's got a very really cool head design as well uh this is the uh, remold though of the uh idw um bumblebee um so but it's a really nice uh redesign and uh might pick that one up. he looks pretty decent uh you know he's got the same vehicle mode, just like I said, with flames on. So nothing too, uh, nothing too spectacular, but still pretty cool. So, um, so yeah. So there's Nightbeat. He looks kind of like a, uh, like a street racing car or something. So now going on to the big reveal, and this was this was what everyone was waiting for. We have leader class Jetfire. Oh wow, he looks awesome. He looks absolutely fantastic as Jetfire. And he's a leader class as well. You couldn't ask anything more to have, you know, he's a leader class jet, G1 Jetfire. Um, this is going to be a must have for nearly everybody. Um, <laughs> and he just looks magnificent. He just looks amazing. This is going to be probably one of the best sellers, I think. Um, because it just looks really, really cool. And, you know, you can have more. If that isn't enough, you can have more on the robot mode. You can have more on the back if you want, if he will stand. But it looks like he will, you know. It looks like he's got quite big heels on his feet. So the fact that he's got all of that doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem in posing him. So it's going to be really... And it looks like he's got a visor as well, which is really cool. And he's armed to the teeth with weapons as well. So um, so this is a must-have for, I think, any any fan i think um you know whether you're new or old this has got to be a must get so i'll be che definitely trying to get it so um yeah leader class jetfire and we have his vehicle mode as well uh really nice it's really sleek as well so um they've done it they've really hit the ball out of the park with this one hasbro of it this looks spectacular and definitely a must get um now we've got the construct bots. Now I'm not really a big fan of them. Uh, I don't know if many people are. I don't know. They might be. 
Uh, some of them look all right, but it's just they've never. I've never thought, oh, I really want to get that. So, uh, but we'll have a look anyway. This is um, Dino Fire Grimlock, and you know we've got the Dinobot Riders thing coming in for this. So we've got we've got Construct Box Grimlock, and yeah, he's all right. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got. Bumblebee, which I think is going to be a, a, one of the Dinobot riders, so he looks all right. Uh, <laughs> we've got Crosshairs; he's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we've got him. Um, really like actually Crosshairs' design. It's pretty. I've got a feeling he's probably going to be one of my favourites after the film. Um, we've got Drift; he looks all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Hound is riding Dinobot Slash of the Construct Bots Dinobot Riders. And there's Hound on his own, uh, looking all right. Um, you know, I like the designs of these in, you know, bigger figures, but like I said, I'm not really a fan of the Construct Bots. Here's Lockdown. He looks pretty evil. Um, so <laughs> there there he is. Um, and uh, and then we've got Bumblebee as a, you know, on his own Construct Bot thing. And yeah, moulded yellow plastic for the win. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I probably ninety nine point nine percent certain I won't be getting this because uh, I've like I said, I've, never, I've just never been a big fan. It, you know, I can see how they can appeal to fans, and you know, they're they're kind of like Bionicles, I guess, or Lego or something. But you know, they're just uh, for they're just not for me to be honest. So uh, you know, drift. I mean, look at that. Just. No, <laughs> I mean, what is what is that? I mean, really, that is that drift? You know, <laughs> who is it? Um, so yeah, it's pretty. Um, yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> oh god, yeah, yeah, his hound as well. Blimey. Um, oh god. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm not going to be spending too long looking at these because I don't really think they look good. Um, you know, here's lockdown. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, here is Optimus once again with the lime green theme from Beast Hunters, which is weird. So, um, so yeah, so that's it for this, guys. It's a bit of a bad one to end it on. What, in my opinion, aren't that great? But we'll leave it with a picture of Leader Class Grimlock, uh, Grimlock, Leader, Leader Class Jetfire because he is awesome and uh, can't wait to get that. So, uh, let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think of the generations. Uh, line uh, so far like I said if there's any more revealed I will do a video on them um, but um, if not then just let me know what you think and which ones you'll be picking up which ones you won't be picking up and um, uh, what do you what do you think of the line in general and um, so yeah so let me know in the comment section guys what you think of them and uh, I will see you guys in the next video uh, have a nice day